Hello, welcome to this CIS Chem Reader Online class. My name is Eric Shung and I'm the head of the industrial chemical sector at CIS Group. In this session, I will briefly introduce the registration requirements of intermediates and several of the main rich like regulations. Firstly, it is essential to understand the definition and types of intermediates. An intermediate is generally described as a substance that is manufactured or consumed in for use for chemical processing to be transformed into another substance. We can distinguish between non-isolated intermediates and isolated intermediates. Non-isolated intermediates, uh, this refers to an intermediate that during the synthesis it is not intentionally removed from the equipment where the synthesis occurs. Isolated intermediates, this may be further categorized either an on-site intermediate or a transport intermediate. An on-site isolated intermediate is a substance placed in a container for temporary storage after a reaction and subsequently consumed in the next reactions within the same factory premise. Transported isolated intermediate is an intermediate that is transported between or supplied to, an, to the other sites. Since intermediates typically do not appear in the final products, they usually pose less exposure risks. Consequently, most rich-like regulations impose fuel data requirements on intermediates compared to the general substance. Ear-rich and ear-rich now isolated intermediates are not subject to registrations. If an isolated intermediate is manufactured and used under strict controlled conditions, reduced date requirements apply. On-site isolated intermediates, if the manufacturer confirms in their IUCLID registration dossier that the on-site isolated intermediate is manufactured and used under strictly contro controlled conditions, the information requirements on the substance intrinsic properties physical can, human health, and environment properties are reduced to already available date and only study summaries have to be submitted, even if a full study report is available. Transport isolated intermediates for annual volume between 1 and 1,000 times, applicants only need to submit available data endpoints for volume existing 1,000 times annually. Equal data endpoints must be submitted for the quantities between 1 and 10 tons of the equivalent general substance. Furthermore, even for the registrations exceeding 10 tons per year, a chemical safety report or CSR is not required. Accordingly, applicants benefit from reduced administration fees, paying only the equivalent fee applicable to the general substance with any volumes between 1 and 10 tons. China Reach or New Substance uh, environment Management Measures, or MEE, MEE order number 12 in China, both non-isolated and on-site isolated intermediates could be exempted from registrations. However, for transport intermediates, simplified data requirements apply. Basic data endpoints are sufficient for simplified or typical registrations. Additionally, detailed information confirming that the chemical substance is used as intermediates must also be submitted, such as production and usage processes, along with details about the substance or products produced during the intermediate. Career rich, OK rich, similarly, and K rich, now isolate and on site isolate intermediates are exempt from registration. However, a confirmation of exemption from registration should be filed to the authority by providing some specific, specific information. For transported intermediates, meeting strict control conditions defined by the Ministry of Environment or MOE, domestic companies enjoy reduced data requirements, like the submission of data on human and environmental hazardous effects could be omitted when registering. For other rich like regulations, including Taiwan, TCCACA, Turkey, KKDIK, and the UK REACH, applicants can also benefit from reduced data requirements or reduced administration fees. CIS has successfully completed hundreds of intermediate registrations and various rich like regulations. If you wish to determine whether your substance qualifies 
as an intermediate or need guidance on how intermediate should be registered, please feel free to get in touch at service at cis-group.com. We will be delighted to assist you. Okay, that's it for today's online class, and we will see you for the next session.